So good afternoon or good morning, depending if you are joining us from the West Coast. Huh? Buenas tardes, boa tarde. I'm uh, here with uh, Ishiro Sanchez, the general manager of our Solid Luna. It's a beautiful little Rolais Chateau <laughs> in, uh, in the Sacred Valley, Peru. So Ishiro, the screen is all yours. Good afternoon for everybody. Uh, thank you for your time to, to do a short presentation of a beautiful property located in the Sacred Valley. So uh, when you are ready, Dominique, I can start. Ready? You can start. <laughs> Perfect. So myself, as you can see, my background is one of their restaurants. And you see the beautiful color of this hotel. Can you see my screen? Yes. Perfectly. Perfect. So where will I start? Uh, Soliluna is located in the Sacred Valley of the Incas. When you land in Lima, you have to take one hour flight to Cusco. From Cusco, there is one hour drive down to the Sacred Valley. We are located in the middle of all the Sacred Valley in a, in a strategical location. Uh, close to us, there is another archeological site. We know that the principal reason to visit Peru is to go to Machu Picchu, which is one of the fortress Incas from many, many, many years ago. Close to Soliluna, uh, there is Ollantaytambo archeological sites, the Terras of Moray, which is a kind of laboratory of the Incas, the salt mines, Pisac. Soliluna itself is, a, is, an, amazing, uh, is an amazing property. Is uh, Petit, who is the owner, she's French. Uh, she used to live in, in Peru for the past 30 years. She decided to move to the Sacred Valley just to be useful to the community. She decided to create the Foundation Soliluna 30 years ago. And right now we have four projects with the foundation. The school where we have educated 170 kids, we have a center for kids with special needs that we call PACARI, uh, the orphanage Soliluna for different kids of uh, abuse and abandon. And the last project that we created was last year that we call Roots and Wings. That is to give a university education for the best students who finish the school with us. So right now, five of them, they are going to the one of the best university in Lima that we call uh, La Pontificia Univers Universidad Católica de Peru, del Peru. And everything is financed by the foundation. One of the kids, oh, well, not, not really kids, they are 18 years old and 19 years old, but one of these, these uh, younger uh, guys is in the top 10 on, on the university in, the, in the La Católica. So if one of the most pleasant uh, logros que hemos tenido en, en, in, in, in Sol y Luna, no? Back to the hotel. Yes. Back to the hotel, we have little casitas, 43 casitas in total, and three different levels of casitas. The premium casita, which is the top casita that we have in the, in the hotel, uh, the deluxe casita, and the superior casita. In each one, you will find a different kind of art, a different kind of color. No, It's like introduce all our guests, how is Peru? Uh, you know that Peru is a really colorful country with a lot of festivities. You, know, you can see the, the restaurant behind uh, Dominic, which is a really colorful. In this case, it's more purple, pink. We have an amazing jacuzzi in the premium casita, the terrace. The Lux casita have similar style of decoration and art. We work with a Peruvian artist who his name is Federico Bauer and he made all the fresco painting in the hotel. We have more than 60 murals painting in the hotel. Uh, you can see the spacious of, of the casita, you know, the fireplace, the living room, the bathroom. Soliluna have an amazing gardens full of flowers, more than 40 kind of birds. The superior casita right now is in a remodelation. We will uh, change all the furniture, color of the walls, curtains, and will be ready in April 2024. 
Sol y Luna have two restaurants on property. One of them is Kiyawasi, who is our fine dining restaurant based in the local cuisine. In this case is uh, a quinoa falafel, which is an amazing food. The colors of the restaurant, an amazing bar where you can drink the classic pisco sour, uh, chilcanos, other classic cocktails. Guaira is located through the gardens of Sol y Luna. We have a daily lunch based in the street food like uh, empanadas, choclo con queso, anticuchos, different kind of potatoes. You know, in Peru, there is more than 4,000 kind of potatoes. And at the same time, we presented with a Peruvian Paso horses demonstration. Um, uh, we breed horses. We have 26 horses on property. This is the style of the restaurant, colorful, casual, a lot of flowers everywhere. Experiences with the gastronomy. We have the Pachamanca dinner, which normally works uh, in the Andes. You now you can cook everything into the grounds with very hot stones. You can put a uh, pork, chicken, guinea pig, lamb, different kind of potatoes as well. You no, know, the pigs are nice, normally works for, for families. An amazing wine cellar where we do the pairing dinners with a sommelier, different wines, different steps. Normally for this uh, people who is really foodie. Wellness, you can relax any time of the day after visit Machu Picchu, after visit all the Sacred Valley. An amazing pool heated by, by solar panels with a mix of terras, lounge, and a really nice view to the mountains. This is the style of the restaurant, you now with extension of the pool. An amazing boutique. Different, different things that you can find in the casita, in the restaurant, in the front desk. You can buy everything in our boutique. Experiences in a beautiful landscape, like a paddle board, horse riding, you not know, to go to all the Sacred Valley, mountain biking, e-bikes, you no, know, with a little help, uh, ATVs, the paragliding, which is one of the principal activities of the hotel because Petit, who is the owner, met her husband flying paragl flying paragliding in Lima, and they decide together move to the valley to working with the community. You know, the kayaking. Also, we have gastronomy experiences like a cooking demonstration, pisco sour lessons, uh, cooking classes, no, you can prepare the, pis the pisco sour, you can prepare the ceviche, the, the traditional lomo saltado, the stir fried tenderloin. And a lot of experience in the hotel. No? Thank you very much. Well, thank you, my dear. It was beautiful, always good to remind us what Petit and all of you huh, are doing for the local community. You imagine to have to have helped one of your child uh, to become a top 10 in the premium university in Lima. Wow. Yes, it's he an amazing world, yes. You changed his life. You have changed their life. So you want to study in London. So Petit right now is seeing how to, how to send her to London. <laughs> you know, it's a hard work. Yeah, but, you know, if any, I think everybody is always happy to to help huh? i see that and i have a lot of travel advisor that actually uh, when you do a little uh, auction and everything especially after the pandemic we see also that more and more clients wants to give back to the community so just by staying at soliluna they're helping the kids they don't even have to give to give extra money huh? just by staying yes. at the hotel so it's a great choice uh, i always heard from everyone traveling and visiting everything that you have the most Peruvian hotel, actually. Well, right now, Peru is really safe to travel. So the political situation it was last year. I invite you, everybody, to, to visit Peru, to visit Machu Picchu, because I think it's the opportunity. And it's my country, no? Yes. The, the food is amazing. The landscape are amazing. No, you have a really, really nice experience in, in, in Peru in general. And it's good to see that you provide all these experiences huh? because you own the ATV, you have all this material uh, on property. So I experience it myself. 
the food is definitely amazing. I think Peru in general, but especially with your little Raleigh Chateau, you certainly have a great seal of approval of the of the food. Huh? I'm just <laughs> looking at uh, I wrote you. You said amazing place, lovely presentation. I don't see any other uh, question. Do you have any question? No. I don't see any other one. Uh, if anybody wants to know, we we're gonna send you. Uh, huh? You're gonna send the um, the video recording to everybody, and then uh, you want to maybe send out your uh, festive space because we still see everyone uh, still looking for festive, and it's a. Uh, so summer for you, so it's a great time to escape the cold from some part of the of the US or the world and to go to Jeanu. Peru has so much so much to offer, but uh, I think people are gonna enjoy also visiting the school, the foundation, which are down the streets, huh? Which is close to the hotel, next to the hotel, so it's really few steps. When I when I go there, I always go to the school. <laughs> I usually, you know, I bring some uh, uh, books, pen things like that, and some little sweets. And the way <laughs> you have the love that they they know, huh? they know that thanks to all of the clients of the hotel, everyone that Petit, the owner, brings to the foundation and the school, they're really grateful. Huh? And uh, mm. it's beautiful. Mm. Always make me a little emotional, but uh, it's it's wonderful to see that. Oh, it's a future. It's uh, <laughs> to see, uh, uh, Yes, Rocio, we're going to be sharing the presentation. Okay, sure, what totally. The closest airport and what is the best transportation to get there? Well, uh, from Lima to Cusco, we always recommend by plane because it's just one hour flight. And if you are going uh, in a bus, it's around 24 hours. So I cannot recommend. From Cusco to the Sacred Valley is one hour drive. So it's really close. Oh. Always we recommend come first to the Sacred Valley because it's lower altitude. You, know? you have to acclimatate. You, you can stay maybe three, four nights in Soliluna. You can take a day trip to Machu Picchu. And at the end, to visit all the Sacred Valley in Machu Picchu, you can go to, to Cusco when you are already acclimatated of the altitude. Yes. And you provide the transfer from Cusco? Huh? We provide everything from transport from Cusco experiences gastronomy in the restaurant maybe if you want a picnic in Ollantaytambo if you want a picnic in Huaypo Lagoon in Pisac so we can do it Hello. and you can also clients to the train station at Ollantaytambo where they're going to oh, jump on the train to go to Machu Picchu for the day huh? and then come back because that could be also if you have clients who are sensitive about the altitude you might consider Soliluna as a base and then you go, you go to Machu Picchu for one day and then maybe you go to Cusco. But as you said, at the end of the stay, or you just go for Cusco to Cusco for one day and you come back to sleep in Soliduna. <laughs> so that's, uh, you live in a little paradise. Huh? And have, <laughs> so, you know, what I what I see is because I remember the hotel and the garden and the roses and this, we never show picture of the garden. Huh? We show picture of the no. pool. A spa, <laughs> the, 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 facilities. the facilities, not the gardens. No one would imagine the garden. No one. Yeah. But it's everybody cool. loves our gardens. Everybody. That's why yes. right. maybe we need to make picture of just the garden and and this amazing network of flowers and trees that you have. Huh? <laughs> so, but thank you. As I said, no more. Thank questions. you very much for everybody. Uh, anything else that we can add? We said totally safe. You know you organize everything. Of course, you can also book the hotel with a DMC if you wanted to add a little more to the area. But if you're only going to go to Soliluna, just need a transfer from Cusco and then a day trip to Machu Picchu, then you know Soliluna is happy to take care of it. Huh? Voilà. Of course. All right. So I know many of the advisors have already seen the hotel. Huh? Everybody is raving and said it's spectacular, the staff, the service, the food and the feeling that people have. So uh, congratulations uh, for keeping this beautiful hotel as beautiful as it's always been. And thank you very much, Ishiro. Thank so you, Dominique. And thank you, everybody, for your time. You know, have a wonderful day and a nice, really week. Thank you. OK. Hola. Bye-bye. Buenas tardes, todos. Bye-bye. Hasta luego. And hasta luego, Ishiro. Gracias, Dominique. Ciao, ciao.